Hi guys, it's Jamie here and I've just got some new glassine bags so I thought we would have a go at doing my really simple collage rules on the glassine bags to get some quick results. I'm going to show you the, the three different versions that I've done so far. The first one is using just three elements. A strip of script of some sort. I'm edging in pink because I'm getting a little bored with the vintage photo all the time. The pink I'm using is my favourite. It's probably the only pink I have actually, Victorian velvet. The next thing is to use a square with music score or a different script style. And to top it would be to use a sticker of some sort. So I'm going to stick these down. Now you want to see that the bag is see-through. This one I want to use as a pocket. So I've done it this way around. This one I'm going to trim up smaller or fold over and use it as a natural bag. Probably trim up smaller. I'm using glue dots to put the paper down because I find that easier with the glassine. I tried Fabri-Tac and that didn't seem to work very well. But maybe that was just me. Sticker wise, entirely up to you really. I'm going to go with something with pink. This one has a bit of script and is also square. Mm, not not keen. Pin up girls. She's a bit orangey for that. Ah, oh, I have posh pin up girl. Notice where I've placed her. I've gone over the bottom of all the different pieces of paper, so you cannot see these joins. I like to take as much of the edging or edges out as possible. That is quite diagonally focused. My previous one wasn't. One has less of a diagonal shape than the other. That's another three style. Next is to use five. So always working in odd numbers. Again, want some music script in the square. Another piece of written script if I've got some. Right. So with doing five, I also therefore want a piece of patterned paper. This is actually a collagey piece of patterned paper, which I'm going to take halfway. Then I want a sticker of some sort or another something. Could try a bit of doily and then a sticker. That appears to work. If you don't want to edge things, you don't have to. I think with this one, I'm not going to edge. And then just trim off the bottom. And that is the five collage piece formula, which is similar to that one. The biggest one, and obviously takes away a little bit from the glassine, is the seven. You could take the pieces smaller though. So the seven piece formula, very very similar again. I'm just going to have a quick look at what we want. We want a piece of script. We have a woman. We want a piece of patterned paper which happens to pick up on her colours. We have some more to put on. A piece of music paper. Maybe a tiny bit of doily. Let's see how we get on with those bits with the bag tearing up again might need to take a bit more off that this time i will use the vintage photo i think i want the red as the background so we've got five six seven so we've got three more elements to put on put her there 
just looking at what else I've got I do have some flowers I don't know if I've got any red ones though what's this say you are amazing it's like a little name plate you put that so the flower doesn't show okay I think that works and that has seven elements there we have it guys really really quick collage even using a really really simple formula you can end up with very different looking glassine bags this is your three element design very simple to do two different scripts in the sticker this one i think is the five element design and then finally the seven element design. If you have enjoyed this very short video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help other people on YouTube see the channel and it is a free way that you can support me. If you are not already, please consider subscribing. I do a lot of different videos three to five times a week on journaling, junk journaling, planning, ephemera making, art journaling, what to journal about and anything else that takes my fancy and let me know what you think of this very simple collage formula in the comments below and i will see you next time